right, so welcome back to the channel. My name is Kevin. I'm Tarsha. This is Conversations with the Crawlers. We do conversations about faith, family, relationships, and we do recaps, reviews, and commentary on some of our favorite shows. This one, though, is going to be interesting. This is so the shows that we normally watch, like Ready to Love, Married First, and all those, they're kind of dead right now. So they're not on. They're not on. Well, they're dead. <laughs> they haven't been resurrected yet. So we were like, what can we talk about? While we're waiting. While we're waiting. And we've seen these viral videos with the pop the balloon yeah, challenges and what have you. Mm -hmm. And we thought, y'all want our input on that. You want our input. You want to know what we, as a married couple of 28 years, have to say with the about these folks popping balloons. So this is the first of many. This may be a new lane for us. Hey, I, I've seen them, and I had my <laughs> my comment to myself. But now everybody get to hear. Yes. So the they're they're hours long. So we're not going to do the whole hour at one time. We'll break them up into each group or a couple, whatever it may be. But let us know your thoughts. But if this is your first time, where you've been, why you took so long, what side of YouTube have you been on? <laughs> But listen, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe, like, request, notification, share, all that fun stuff, and then meet us in the comments. This is going to be interesting, all right? So we got the latest one. We'll just go ahead and jump into it, and we will kick it off and see what they got to say. All right, let's do this. Yeah, these are the, the ladies that oh, are popping are the balloons. Ladies. These are ladies okay, that are popping balloons. balloons. Okay. Now, I don't know if this one was in Phoenix. I saw in the description something about Phoenix. I don't know if this one was, oh, was in Phoenix. Why they were going to close on? It's hot out here, y'all. All right, that's the old right there. Okay. All right. She's done well for herself. Okay. Hey, you get a studio with some uh, white backing and just have people come in. Listen, but everybody wants to have their little five, two minutes of fame. Everybody looking for love. Sometimes in the wrong places, <laughs> sometimes in the right places. All right. A nice handful yeah. of ladies. Yeah. All right. So let's see how this goes. Hello, everyone, and welcome right, back to my channel. It's your host, Arlette, and we are back with another episode of Pop the Balloon or Find Love. And we've got some beautiful single ladies lined up. Make some noise, ladies. Oh, they're on different sizes and shapes. Like, yeah, mm -hmm. that's what I'm talking about. So we have got a group of single men waiting to come out here and meet y'all. So when they come around this corner, they'll come out one by one. If you're feeling him, if he's your type, he checks off all of your check boxes. Do not pop your balloon. However, you know, if there's something he said that you're like, oh, red flag, or, you know, you just really can't see yourself dating this guy, go ahead and pop your balloon. And I'll go over nice. to a few Let's of you to see, see why you ended up popping. You guys go. ready? This first one. Is okay. With that being said, let's go ahead and bring out our first single guy. Is he coming? Hello, welcome in. I'll have you. Oh, he's slow walking. He's slow walking. Doing, all good, good. How are you? Can we get Great. your name? My name is Brian. Brian, how old are you? I'm 40. 40 and 41 in September. Okay, it's coming up. <laughs> and Brian, what do you do? I'm an aircraft mechanic Very for a major cool. airline. All right. So now. I play fixed planes. Mm -hmm. I want you to get home safe. <laughs> we appreciate you. <laughs> but he doesn't make and, a lot of money. Uh, what are some things that you uh, like to yeah, do? Unless you work for Boeing. <laughs> things I like to do for fun. Um, if you work for like Boeing, that might be a part of the problem. I live in Houston. Okay. I'm from New Orleans, but I, mean, I like to ride horses. Oh, I'm a country, country guy. Okay. okay. I'm still city, but He's you know, city. I like to do country things. Uh, I like country. to read. Um, like to read I'm from the ghetto, but I am a nerd. Okay, I like yeah, to read. Nerd. Okay, I want to know about things that I don't know. Pop your balloon. Okay, Please, uh, I like to go oh, lounges, oh. right? I like to go to museums. You know, I just like to really um, have yeah. a good time. Yeah, yeah. She mm -hmm. like nice. good. Now, what are some things that you're looking for in a woman? Transparency. Mm. Okay, for sure. Crazy. Transparency. Okay. If I can't see who you are when I meet you, then I would never know, mm. right? Okay. Uh, loyalty. That 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 really. Um, for men, that's a big thing. Loyalty. Mm -hmm. uh, I need to know when you are out partying, yes, having a good time, that you we all want loyalty and you faithful himself. They want to, know what you to a man like me. Okay. Now, what are some of your deal breakers? Deal breakers? Um, 
I really don't have deal breakers, right? Because I'm from the ghetto, so I understand you that don't have deal you know, breakers? we <laughs> do a lot of things in our Listen, past and in our youth deal, that no deal breakers in the ghetto. Uh, it's really a problem. No yeah, problem. So I don't really have any deal breakers, but as far as deal breakers, I don't really have any. Okay. All right. So we did get a few pop balloons. Okay. Let's go on over to those ladies, see why they ended up popping. No problem. All right. Let's start right on over here. If we can have your name and age. Hi, I'm Mrs. Parker, but I go by Mrs. Hey, Mrs. Parker. I'm 39. And you said you're 39? 39. All right. And Mrs. Parker, what do you do? I'm a professional makeup artist. A makeup artist? Yeah, shout out to Why are we repeating everything? You must be hard of hearing. Right, and Mrs. Why did you end up popping your balloon? I popped your balloon because you said you don't have any deal breakers, and everybody has to have some type of deal breaker. Yes, so yes. You Thank have you to have Parker. something that you don't like. Thank you. But you look really nice. You look dapper. Nice to meet you. It's definitely nice to meet you. Uh, when it comes to deal breakers, I'm not a surface level dating type of guy, right? Okay. I don't really care about surface. your past. I'm from the ghetto. I'm from New Orleans. Okay. Right? I'm sorry. Wait. So, all right. I'm sorry. He done mentioned in these last minute and a half, he's from the ghetto. What they got to do what with What they got to do with anything? With the deal breaker, everyone should have something like, hey, I don't like this. If you go here, I'm, that's not acceptable. Like I got a standard. Right. Don't cross my boundary. Right. Right. And so I don't know what the ghetto has. I've been to the ghetto. I mean, like my mm. my grandma lived in the ghetto. I'm like so, but now you're at a better place. I hope I hope he still don't live in the ghetto. But being the, an fact, airplane. the fact that he didn't mention it three times already. Okay. It's like I'm from the ghetto. Okay. I don't got deal breakers because I'm from the ghetto. Man, Listen, stop. I don't know what ghetto you from. I don't know. But the ghettos I know, <laughs> there's some deal breakers in there. Listen, yeah, okay. And break a rule. Yeah. This is <laughs> right. Break them deals. Nothing that you've done in your past doesn't matter to me because that was before me. It's not about that. After me, that's when no, you upgrade yourself. Question. Okay. So that's why I said I don't have any deal breakers because I don't so, want to say that, hey, you know. <laughs> right. You don't understand you know, the question. You're, you're not my type because of what you've done in your past not knowing that that wasn't right or wrong okay so that's why respect mm -hmm. okay and now um is mr someone that is your type she de definitely she got this cowgirl going on <laughs> i'm from the south right you know so i like your outfit i you like what you got going on definitely from the ghetto south thank you right you from the south our next lady over here if we can have your name and age um hi i'm tracy and i'm 37 i'm from new orleans as well and mm -hmm. i live in the mm -hmm. dmv um, and the reason why I pop my balloon is because be like, I am from like, New Orleans yeah. and just the energy I would just wasn't vibing with. Like, mm -hmm. I think you're super cool. I love the way that you look. But as far as like energy, I feel like I've dated guys from New Orleans before and it just oh, did so not work out that, for me. That, so I think is, because we come from the same place, it just clashes. Okay. Like so since we come from the same place, it clashes. Yeah. You know, I, I, I just haven't had any right. That's what she's trying to say. Like, I don't like them. You them. never met Brian. And you never met Brian, but today that you did. You know what I mean? And today, definitely, you was a winner. But, uh, you know, the fact that you're from New Orleans, I respect that because I respect my home. No respect and I'm right. prideful on being a Louisiana animal. Right? Louisiana. And I definitely was feeling you. But, Is that what y'all call y'all? You know, since you popped on me, we don't really dig with rejection too well. We respect that, you know, but we move on. Okay. And then nice Tracy, to meet you. Tracy, we actually didn't get, what do you do? Um, so I work in management. Okay. So the okay. person that I kind of link with, we can kind of go into further of my, my career. Yeah. What industry? What management? What industry? Um, I wouldn't like to say. Awkward to yeah, me. Yeah. I would like yeah, to discuss is. that with the person that I match with. I think that's a little more in depth. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're looking good today. I love the orange. <laughs> so she's yeah, good. She ain't willing to tell Alicia. We can have your true. name and age. Nah, she's um, not. My name is Chanel Kim. And I am originally from Gary, Indiana. I live here in Phoenix, oh, Arizona. She's from the oh, yeah. Um, Coco so Stiletto on in Instagram. Okay. Phoenix. I have my own business. I'm a consultant, yeah, business no consultant. <laughs> and I also create trivia games that I sell on Amazon. Okay. And I'm sorry, we didn't get your age. I am 42. Um, and the reason why I popped my balloon is it's pretty much in you have already answered. Um, you didn't have any deal breakers. Um, I need someone that knows what he wants. Yeah, um, that's good. I can be a handful sometimes as well. So, and, and it can be anything. So mm -hmm. it's gotta be something yeah, that makes you something. tick mm -hmm. that you can be honest about. So that's why I popped my balloon and you kind of remind me of my nephew. Just kind of. Oh, so, even though he's she 40. Hit, she kind of remind nephew. my nephew. Okay. Ooh. Um, so you said the deal breakers would be because I don't have a deal breaker? Correct. Okay, well, I can have a clean... I need, I need a man to tell me something. Tell me what he want and don't want. And, and that will... Tell me that, and, 
Thank and you. That, I might jump all over you. <laughs> and that will come. Definitely. I would definitely yeah, tell you where you're now, going now, wrong now at. For the deal but as far as a deal breaker, um, I have a clean not, slate with really? everybody. I'm the type to trust you before I not trust you. Okay, well, I'm going to give you that yeah, grace do deal breakers, bro. before I don't give you that grace. Deal breakers are things right? that you but just I respect don't want to deal with, period. I like that response. Mm -hmm. yeah, you got a lot of response for the wrong back, thing. You might go get back? You want your balloon back? No. Do you want that balloon? Don't do that. Not okay. yet. No, no, no. <laughs> you got the gift of gab I see. So we're just going. He does have the gift of gab. <laughs> I got the gift of gab. Let's go. It's transparency. Really ain't seen a whole lot of anything. Really. Transparency. If we can start off with your name and age. Hi, I'm Janae. I'm 34. Hello, Janae. And Janae, what do you do? I'm in school for fashion design. I'm an office assistant. Okay. And I'm a new entrepreneur. Just about to launch my fitness clothing line called We Fit. <laughs> okay. And why did you end up popping your balloon for Brian? Hey, Brian, I love the way you speak, but for me, it was the pants. I don't <laughs> like the pants too tight. I'm kind of ghetto, too, so I like them a little loose. You like and my part of the head wants loose pants. How old are you? 34. 34? Mm -hmm. How many kids you got? I got three. You got three? Yep. How many baby daddies? I have three. You got three baby daddies. Okay. I should have said zero because mm. it's just me. You don't lie to the public? No, what? I have what? three, but it's just me. I'm a single parent. Okay. There's saying. no man in my life. Okay. No man in your life? Nope. Why is the reason boys. for that no man in your here. life? Uh, well, my first child, his father passed away, okay. and the other two are nowhere to be found. Mm -hmm. okay. So what can you do? They do you like that? What's wrong with them? <laughs> something. Mm. Only uh, God knows. Or is there something wrong with you? Oh, Possibly, don't yeah. but I think I'm just fine. Whoa. Without you, I think you're just fine as well. Thank you. Right, but to say that a 41 year old man is disqualified because of his pants, you're 41. I'll be 41 in September. Okay, because I was like, I thought you said 40. I'll be 41 in September. That's coming up. It's I like it's it. It's away. okay for you. It's not my it's style. Away. It's not like you know with kid. everything going I'm on. Five and a half. I like the pants to be a little baggy. Like, where you from, love? Kansas. It's, it's in 12 months. Yeah. I'll be 18. Okay. How long you been out here? Two years. Two years? Oh, yeah. are you going to date her? Nice, and to have her? nice to meet you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Let's Thanks. go on over here. We can have your name and age. I am Venusian, 39. And uh, you said Venusian? And what do you do? I'm a TikTok creator manager. Cool. And uh, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, I'm a free-spirited woman. So having to check in with somebody like they are my parent is something that I don't subscribe to. So that's why I got my balloon. Where did that come from? What do you mean check in like they're your parent? The way that you were discussing how somebody needs to constantly, um, when we're out and about, to text or call and check in. Okay. That's something that I don't uh, subscribe I to. That. So that's why uh, I pop my balloon. Okay. What do you do? You just I'm a TikTok creator manager. TikTok creator manager? For what company? Or is it for yourself? TikTok, dummy. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's for TikTok. For TikTok? Social media. Okay, social media? Social media agent, yes. Okay, how many kids you have? I have two. How many baby daddies? Two. Two? Okay. So you didn't think after the first one that you wanted to marry the next one? No. No? Okay. Okay. I was just asking because for real men, the last two that's what matters. Were mm -hmm. Your first one wagon. is given. You mean the second wagon. one, the mistake they, is on they you. They were like, oh, oh she popped a balloon. Well, there's there's definitely yes, right. No, that's think, definitely but, right. He keeps that's more here or there. And that's yeah, not what I do. Okay, definitely. But I respect your answer. They looked at her pop and they was like, oh, we don't pop. They didn't want to be We can start off with your name and age. I'm Shay and I'm 37. How you doing, Shay? I'm doing amazing. Shay, what do you do? Um, so I work for the uh -huh. county little and brother. I have my own hair business and a few other little small businesses. Okay. All right. And now uh, why did you end up popping your balloon? So originally I was feeling it. I, I, I like, a, I don't want to say a bad boy, but I like somebody that's outspoken. But the question of, I feel like you're challenging the women. Oh, how many baby daddies right. you got? And then, yeah. you know, it, it just, that's, it, does that matter? You say future. So that's their past. It's not their future. Right. How many uh, right. kids do you have? So those sound like I have people. one daughter. She's 19. Do you want more? I do. My balloon still pop because I don't want any more. Okay. <laughs> you don't want any more? Okay. You can't have point. any more. You, you, no, you I'm choose choosing, not to I choose have not any to have any more. I have exactly. a uh, almost 14 year old. In exactly. Okay. Yeah. Well, the reason for me girl. asking their past about the baby daddies because it lets me know where they're going in their future. If you didn't no, have, if you didn't want to have a baby daddy no, for the second time, then that lets me know that you was uncareful 
of what you're dealing with. Do you necessarily okay. believe that somebody's past is they past that don't determine their future? Not, because not, I mean, I can look at you and say, say like you, you, you made people make mistakes. And it could happen. I, I feel like once or twice. Okay, some things become a choice, but no, no, no. Doesn't determine. When it comes to w once, is a mistake. Twice, that's on you. Okay, so then say like you. All right, I'm gonna stop because uh, I, I hear what he's saying. I hear what he's saying. I hear him. I hear what he's saying. So yeah. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt. I hear what he's saying, but this is where he is for me contradicting himself. Because mm -hmm. remember, he said he doesn't have any deal breakers. He's right. like, whatever happened before you met me don't matter. Right. So if that's the case, then however many children they have previously, if you're saying that that's not a deal breaker and that what happened before doesn't matter, it's only about how you move forward, then these questions that you're asking are irrelevant according to what you said when you first came out. But also, he wants more children. And so you want to know how many fathers and how many other kids you have in the picture. If I'm going to say, we're going to get married and I want you to have more kids. Right. But that's a question further law, because like what you said, if the past doesn't matter and everything, and we'll figure that out because we're just dating. Right. This ain't the show this, where you're supposed to get married. This ain't married at, at, at second sight or married at balloon no. popping. This ain't but that. I don't like how he's just approaching it. Yeah. Because it's after they don't pop the balloons. If I already popped my balloon, we're not going out. So why even well, ask I, I get that they, I get why he asked these questions because they, they give them the opportunity to ask the questions because. But you don't have to ask balloons. that question. You yeah, don't, it don't. Because you ain't going out with them. That's true. I get that get into a relationship with somebody, you get married and things don't work. So then I guess you made a mistake or, and then, so you once is mistaken and twice is, I don't believe in that. Cause I believe things happen. Sweetheart twice is on you. Okay. You should have learned from that very no, first mistake. It, it, okay. And not saying that your child is a mistake. Right. Mm -hmm. of course but the not. fact that you chose the wrong man to have kids with, and secondly, not to have a marriage after the next one or before marriage the next one determine and I'm, I'm a person that wants to be married but marriage don't determine anything i've known people to be married for a long time and it don't work out baby so okay. yeah you are no honey buddy, okay you, you said no. no problem mm, oh, well you know yeah, the no, aggressiveness you, well, I, that I, I, comes I, I, from I'm a southern man I, right baby, let me explain and we something. stand on what we talk Our about come from texas so mm. Okay, I'm from no. New Orleans. Okay, so you, you know what I mean? So we, 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 right. 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 Let's move okay. on. Let's move on. Let's no move problem. On. You, you have a good day. <laughs> right. <laughs> we can have your name and age. Hi, my name is Shay, and I'm 37. And Shay, what do you Hello, do? Hello, Shay. I am an insurance adjuster, and I'm just waiting to take my real estate license. Very nice. And why did you end up popping your balloon? Just based off of the energy. I didn't want to pop it too soon. I like to fill you out first, but just based off of the energy and the conversations that were had between the women, mm -hmm. Just overall, that's mm -hmm. it. Yeah. So you a follower? No, I just I went out. That's why I said I didn't pop it right away. I wanted to see for myself. Okay, so you didn't write my responses and the women that that I responded yeah. to. You didn't like the responses. Yes. 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 yes sir. Just the energy from it. Mm. Yeah. Yes. The, the energy is too strong for you, huh? It's Not necessarily too strong. I just just didn't too much care for it. That's understandable. So like, yeah, I respect yeah. that though. Thank you. You got the bad juju. Come on bro. over here. If we can have your name and age. Davinia, and I'm 41. And Davinia, what do you do? I'm a compliance analyst for a payment processing company. Okay. And why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, I popped my balloon. I was waiting because I was trying to feel the energy, the vibe, mm -hmm. the connection, chemistry. And I believe he was speaking very well, very suave, That's handsome yeah. gentleman. So I was trying to give it some time. But then it started to feel like an attack. And I, don't, yeah. I didn't like or agree with the attack. So mm -hmm. that was why I popped my balloon. Okay. So you say it felt like an attack. Can you elaborate on that? Um, you don't judge <laughs> people from their past or you like to start off with a clean slate. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think that if a relationship works out mm -hmm. for a woman and it happens to be her second kids, her second baby daddy, per se, um, I don't think that's her fault. So if she decides to stay and marry the and man, like tell Brian says, then point that means game. she's settled. And, and I don't agree with the woman the having to settle just because you know, the, the opinions of to. others thinking that, you know, it's going to be her fault. It's her fault because it didn't work out. No. Okay. Because people, they start off with different personas and then you slowly kind of learn who they really are. So if you decide to walk away because that <laughs> situation isn't healthy for you, that doesn't mean that it's your fault that it didn't work out. Okay. Okay. All right, so know. there's four billion women on the planet. Mm -hmm. Oh Jesus! I'm a black American from Louisiana. Mm -hmm. I have the choice to, to to have the pick of the litter. Mm -hmm. So why would I pick, pick you if you have multiple baby daddies? What? Oh. what? Mm -hmm. 
Right. Yeah. And you I have understand the choice. that. You have the choice. We all I have, have the choice. I have the choice, I, but yeah. you're judging me on the fact that I have the choice. No, I'm not judging you. That just means that I'm not for you. If you're going to judge me because my second baby daddy didn't work out for me, then I'm not for you. You know, so I'm not judging and you I understand and your opinion that. How many kids and your you preference. Have? I have three. You have 25, three? 18, and 12. Okay. How many baby daddies? Two. Two. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there's no, there's no disrespect towards that, right? Mm -hmm. But I just want you to understand, when it comes to a man of top tier, right? Who's that? We give you a few from one man. Mm -hmm. That's it. If you have multiple from a different man, mm -hmm. that 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 disqualifies you. So it disqualifies a top tier woman from getting a top. That's tier exactly man right. Why? Because there's has... billions of women on this planet. Oh, so, right? so okay. okay. All right, back it on up. Back okay. on up. Well, yeah. Brian, that is no all the balloons popped. No problem. Well, we do thank you for coming on. Let's go ahead and give it up for him, ladies. All right. Oh, thank you. Right. I ain't all giving right. up. You nothing. Bye. All right. Bye, New Orleans. They like. Mm. All right. So, <laughs> what is this? Let's. All right. So Ooh. we go. We go do another one, another video with the remainder of that. But my thing with this is, and part of the thing I'm looking at is, you talk about your top tier guy, and we've got that. In my opinion, Kevin Samuels, the late Kevin Samuels, yeah, um, is the one who kind of popularized that whole conversation, right? But that doesn't mean every man is top tier. Let's just say that. Uh, no. And he's not, based upon what I understand, the general definition to be of top tier, we're talking like the top one, two percent of men, mm -hmm. right? I don't think that an aircraft man uh, engineer, great job, not taking oh, that away. He's making six he's figures. He's making money, right? Um, he's making six figures. But in his 40s with a child, he would be considered top tier. I mean, there you're you're supposed to be making a, a minimum of six figures. But we're talking not just low six figures. We're prob talking probably mid six. Okay. When when we're talking when high, we're getting in, when we're getting in, in those figures, he called them high value men. And so yes, they are multi millionaire billionaire. But an Af aircraft engineer is not going to be a multi millionaire. No, unless right? unless he's not indicating any other side hustle he's doing. He's from the ghetto. He ain't got no other side hustles. Shut up. He didn't. He, he didn't. He said he, said he was from the ghetto like 12 times. So. Okay. But again, he did get <laughs> an opportunity to be making mm -hmm. or repairing yep. aircraft. Yep. So only thing we can go off is what he said. Okay. We mm -hmm. can't assume or whatever. I think, I think his problem was his mouth. Yes. Stop asking so many questions from people who pop their balloon. You have three women you want to get to who still have their balloon. So you want to get to them. Yeah, it was the, the more he talked, the more the balloons popped. Exactly. That so all he had clue. to do was shut up, saying, hey, why hey. did you pop your balloon? I appreciate it. Thank you for your honesty. Move on. Yep, I agree. And then he could at least get a date and walk off the show with somebody. He ain't end up with nobody except... That he's from New Orleans, the ghetto. He a Louisiana one. All right. Well, look, that's All it right. for this one. Listen, if y'all enjoy this, definitely we'll go, we're gonna watch the rest of this and do another video on it. Uh, but this is something that I I think is gonna be interesting. So oh, let Lord, us know you your thoughts. Blood pressure down. Yeah. <laughs> you can't be getting hot like you know what? Yeah. If you've been around this channel, you know sometimes I'm like. Mm. Because I don't like you trying to stuff. help the brothers. You trying to help I'm them. trying to help the brothers, but I'm also I'm trying to help the ladies too. Uh, yeah. So listen, ladies did good. They did <laughs> good. They popped them all. They popped them. That was, they did very well. They popped them. Be red balloons instead of red flags. Because <laughs> if, if my daughter was in that, that I'd have gone and popped it for her. All right, that's it <laughs> for this one. Like, oh, no. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> don't bring that that Louisiana animal around here. No, <laughs> don't do that. Yeah, you're taking my child out. Not my daughter. All right, that's it. We'll see y'all next time. Have a great one. Be blessed. <laughs> Louisiana. <laughs>